Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a good day to all of you, my beloved Form 3 students. Once again, we are going to learn how to write an email. In the previous uh, lesson, I have taught you, okay, how to make sentence structures. Now, we are going to put into practice all that we have learned. Okay, today, we are going to learn how to write an email. Okay, alright. Next, we are going to look at what is the meaning of email. Okay, first of all, before I give you the meaning of mail, email, look at the picture. Uh, what is the picture all about? That is a picture of a big happy family. Alright, okay. So, when we talk about email, we are talking about formal and informal email okay that is the picture is about what a uh, celebrity birthday now before we go further into that i would like to explain to you email is electronic mail e mail electronic stand uh, e stands for electronic mail is mail so it is a popular means of communication since it is cheaper and faster Okay, and it's an informal way of expressing ourselves or an uh, informal way of writing. And as you know, email can be uh, written from in, uh, formal, uh, informal and also can be written informally. Alright, okay, next. Here is the sample of informal email. Alright. So, I hope you can read the email on your own, right? Okay, I give you some time to read. Okay, you, you can see that in an email, you have the subject there. And then you have um, addressee, right? You address to whom? And then you have to greet that person, greeting. And then and you can write your email in one short paragraph. And then, of course, you are going to say a goodbye, right? Your hope and what you expect from that person. And then, that's it. You sign off, okay? All right, now, next, you have... Uh, now, when you want to write an email to a friend, I have given you some tips on how to write uh, the words, okay? The vocabulary, uh, the expressions that can be used when you want to write an email to a friend. So, first of all, in an email, you must have your opening, alright? You have to say, you can say, hi, hello, uh, alright? It's very simple, right? You can use all the expressions given there. So, you don't have to use the same opening over and over again. I give you some samples there so that you can choose and select for your email writing. Not only that, when uh, not only opening, you also must express thanks, right? Thanks a million, thanks for, okay? Cheers for, and so on. So, all right, next, not only you have the opening or expressing thanks, we also have, okay, next, we are going to look at uh, giving news. Okay, after you have done your opening, express your thanks, you have to giving news. Alright? Uh, I've got some good news, great news, and so on. Okay? So, as you can see, writing an email is, um, is what we call that, is very uh, structured. You know what to do. First, I have to do this. Next, I have to do this thing and so on so it is very structured and directed and guided okay next okay not only that okay you also have to respond to the news yeah? responding news okay uh you can say that um uh, that's uh interesting news i was you know you can read there right uh what great news uh, you use uh exclamation mark uh, this is what I mean by expressing by sh or showing our feeling or emotion. Remember, in our previous lesson, we talk about what? We talk about interjection. So, we can use interjection in this email writing. Yeah? When you want to respond 
to news. Not only you responded to news, but also you can offer or accept or decline an invitation. Uh, you can use uh, phrases, you know, expressions such as "I love to." Uh, I love to. Do you fancy? Fancy coming to? Uh, would you like to? And then you continue with your ideas. All right. Okay. Next, you also can offer advice. Okay. If your email, the task is asking you to give advice or make suggestions, you can use the expression. Okay. Uh, okay. Are you in favor of? Uh, okay, all right. Okay, why don't you have you thought about what about uh, how about? So these are the expressions that you can use when you want to offer advice or make suggestions. And of course, in an email, you must have closing. So as you can see, I have already given some closing for you to use. Take care. All right. See you. And lots of love, or just love closing or sign off. Okay, I think you can understand that writing an email is not that difficult. It's quite easy, right? Straight to the point. Okay, now let us look at the next slide. Now I give you learning focus. Since we are doing uh, email writing, we must learn. Okay. How to use abbreviations? So this unit focusing on abbreviations. Okay, abbreviations can be used in informal writing, and as I have already explained to you, email we can have both formal and informal. But you have to understand that this unit we are focusing on informal email. That's why I give you the picture of that big happy family celebrating birthday. So informal email, email that we send to our loved ones, our family members, our friends, right? Our neighbors, for example. Okay. So abbreviations which can be needed in messages and email because we use short form. We don't have to spell it out. Okay. Next. All right. Okay. For example, when we say morning and afternoon, you don't have to write morning or afternoon. You don't have to spell them out. You just put a.m. for morning, p.m. for afternoon, and also like for example, Mister. You don't have to spell it out. You just say Mister, M.R., Mrs. All right, Miss. Doctor, you don't have to spell D O C T O R. You just put D N R, capital D and small letter R. And cardinal numbers, ordinal numbers, sorry, like tenth. You don't have to spell T E N T H. Ten, and then you put T H. Fortieth, ah, uh, and so on. All right. Next, ah, uh, parts of the language. For example, ah, uh, when I say for example, you don't have to sp ah uh, to spell example. For example, you just write small letter e full stop and small letter g. Now etc. What is the meaning of etc? Means other than other than this and other more, right? So you just put ah uh, small letters e, t, and c. Now what about that to say? You just put. I N E small letter I small letter E, okay. Ah, uh, some countries like U S A, so you don't have to spell it out. United States of America, you just put or you just write U S A U K. What is U K? United Kingdom, and U A E and some other countries. In addresses, for example, like road, you just put R capital R and small letter D, and ah. Uh, And then avenue, you just put A V E. Street, you just put capital S. You just put that T, small letter T. Street. Okay, do you understand? Okay, now we go next one to the next one. Okay, in your book, you have an exercise whereby you have to rewrite the sentences 
with abbreviations, right? In your netbook or your notebook, it's up to you. As long as you do it in your exercise book, okay? Okay, now let us look at the question. I look like my mother's side in the family, right? So what? Uh, okay. Uh, so the answer is in in what? I e my grandmother, my aunt, and my cousin. So the answer is I e. So I guess you know already what is I e, right? Ah, uh, you can refer to the note. And then number two, what is number two? What is the answer for number two? Yes, thirty fifth. All right, right? Thirty fifth. All right. Now what about number three? Number three, you just write U A E, all capital letters. And what number? What number four is the what num? What is the answer for number four? Please bring food. So example E a post a small E G. Okay. Next. Uh, next. Okay. This is a continuation. Number five. I'm meeting Doctor Andrews. So there you can see Doctor Andrews at four p.m. Number six, Mister Jones says, uh, "Let um, lesson start at eight forty-five a.m." All right. And number seven, you can see sixty-two Greendale, all right, Street, London, UK. And then number eight, buses leave at ten a.m., eleven a.m. 12 a.m. etc. etc. So, for for your information, it is not uh, advisable to use abbreviation in essay. But for email, informal email, you may do so. Abbreviation can be used in informal email. Email. Eh? So, be my guest to use the abbreviation. It makes you feel more relaxed. And more comfortable to show the closeness, the relationship between you and your family members or your friends. Okay, next one. Okay, read the writing task below and answer the questions. Okay, so it is important for you in your textbook. Okay, if you uh, turn to page fourteen, you will get this question. So in writing, you must read the question first. Normally, students are excited to write. So, in PT three examination, understanding the question is very important. What is the question all about? What am I supposed to do? If you don't read carefully, if you don't understand the task, you are not going to get good grade for your mark. So, if you understand the task, you can get, you can score. Quite a lot of marks for your question. Okay. Ah, uh, have you read? Yes. So, do you understand? The next one. Have you read? Yes. Do you understand? If you say yes, we can proceed. But if you say no, I'm not clear. Read again. It's okay if you write twice. If you read twice or thrice the question, as long as you understand what you are supposed to do. Okay, now let us look at the next one. What are we supposed to do? Ah, uh, after you have read the question, you have to answer the questions. Why must we answer the questions? Because we want to test our understanding, our comprehension of what we have read. For example, the questions: What do you have to write? You ask yourself, who will read it? When you write, there must be someone who is going to read it. And why are you writing it? So I will give you the answer. What is the answer? What do you have to write? What do you have to write? An email. Good. So you are not going to write a letter. You are not going to write a postcard. But you are going to write an email. That is very important. You know what you have to do. This is your task. And who will read it? Who is your audience? Yes, one of your relatives. It can be your grandfather, grandmother, auntie, uncle. One of your relatives. And why are you writing it? Yes, you want to invite one of your relatives to a party. 
or to the party based on the question. Good. So now you know the question. You have understood the question. You have answered the questions correctly. Now let us look what's going to happen next. Okay, next. All right. You have to read the example of email and then underline the abbreviations because we have learned abbrevi abbreviation just now. So we, I want to test your understanding on abbreviations by asking you to underline the abbreviations found in the email. Okay. All right. Can you read the email now? Okay. All right. You look at the email. Look at the format, right? Ah, uh, look, it is very simple, very easy to write an email. So you don't have to worry a lot. If you cannot make complex sentences, I think you can manage with simple and compound sentences. It's very simple, short and precise. Okay? All right. Okay, now we go to the next slide. Okay, all right, next slide. Okay, now you have read the slide. Okay, you have read the you have read the email. You have understood what is it all about. Now let me guide you how to to write an email. Okay, like what I have told you before in building block sentences, I teach you step by step. So in writing email also we go step by step. So those who are very good in writing emails, bravo, congratulations. But those who do not understand how to write email, don't worry, don't be scared. We are going to learn it step by step. Now, first of all, okay, if we study the example email again, all right, that Rashida had written, Rashida had included first a greeting and then the reason for the party and the third one the time of the party okay fourth the date of the party fifth ask the reader to reply to the invitation why do you think we have to ask for a reply so that we know how many people will come to our party so that we can prepare our party we can prepare food and drinks right and of course use informal expression right okay so so if you want to remember when you want to write an email next time you can say a greeting reason time date asking to reply use informal expression that's it it's very easy right now let's go to the next slide now planning for writing an email now for, for your information, in every composition or essay writing, you must have paragraph. But for email, it is special. You only have one paragraph for the body. So, first you have the greeting. Hi, Uncle Sam. That is what okay, uh, Rashida had written. So, paragraph one is not really paragraph one. Or maybe I can say that idea number one. Is a, ask about the reader. How are you, for example, right? And then sentence number three, you give the reason why you are writing. The next one, you give more details about the party, right? And then you ask the reader to reply and you have to sign off, okay? You have greet the person, then you have told the person what you want them to do and then you have to sign off. To show that is that that's the end of your email, okay? So, um, I think sign off. You can use love, Rashida. You can say love, lots of love, all my love, etc. It's up to you, and you can refer to the notes that I have given to you. Okay, next. This is exam task in the book. I think. You are now able to write an email on your own. Alright? You must try this exercise so that you can put all the ideas together in one piece of writing. And for your information, writing an email 
is a popular question for PT3 examin uh, evaluation. All right. Question number one is normally write a postcard, write messages and also email. So my advice is why don't you give it a try? Okay, this is very simple, straightforward, straightforward, and I know that you can do it. All right. So your you have done very well at school this year, and your parents want to have a party to celebrate. I uh, just imagine our parents want to throw a party for us. Why? Because we have done well in our studies at school. So your task is to write an email to a friend you want to invite a lot of friends but this one this email is particularly to a friend to invite he uh, him or her or it can be them okay to the party right for then in your email you should uh, okay we give you instruction because it is very uh, instructed and directed and guided so we tell you what you should have in your email. Tell your friend why are you e uh, emailing, right? Give information about the party, time, date and place. And then ask your friend to reply your email. And we give you word limits, 35 to 45 words. Actually, my dear students, 35 to 45 words, there are not many words that you can write it is straightforward to the point so question number one in your exam uh, in your pt3 exam you are asked or requested to write not more than 80 words so this is only a practice to teach you that email shouldn't be long it should be short straightforward precise and concise okay all right so in exam you have to read and understand what you are supposed to do. Okay? Alright, and then after you have understood, take your pen or highlighter, underline all the keywords and all the key phrases. And then give the required information. What they ask you to do, you give them. And of course, don't forget to ask for a reply and try not to exceed the number of words. Okay, next... Now, these useful expressions can be found in your textbook. You can refer to these useful expressions to write your email. All right, so, I think it is not going to be a, a big problem. Okay, you, you don't have to say that you don't have the words. I've given you the words. And to write the words, I have also taught you how to make sentences in the previous lesson so i hope that you can use all the information and knowledge to write this email all right so useful expression is given for you to read remember and use when writing email how to invite asking for a reply and the vocab used in writing about special events what are the special events celebrating your birthday right celebrating something celebrating uh, your birthday your wedding you know and a lot of things that you want to share with your loved ones okay next one okay tips okay many students like to have tips tips actually are techniques okay in order to score full mark for question number one you can uh Use these tips uh, to score. So you have to practice these tips in order uh, to score full mark. 20 over 20 in your PT3 exam. So as people say, practice makes perfect. There are 10 tips. I have come up with 10 tips so that um, you can uh, practice writing the email using the useful tips. First of all, read. Now, people will say that writing paper is to write. But before you can write, you have to read. Because reading is like a compass. Uh, so that you are not going to be lost. Second, after you have read, you must understand what you have read. After you have understood, you must underline all the keywords and key phrases that are given in the question. 
And of course, you have to check whether you have put all the points together. The the ideas, the points must be used. Okay. And now we have five. Now we are going to look at another five tips. Okay. Next. Use simple language. Use simple sentences. You can add one or two compound sentences. And if you are sure of yourself and it is necessary, you can add one complex sentences. But for email, it is we want you actually to be able to write simple and compound sentences. What if you cannot write compound sentences? You have not mastered it. It's okay. Use simple sentences. Okay? And you must be concise and precise. And what about your tone? When you write your email, it must sound cordial, friendly, and it is informal. That's why we use abbreviation to show the closeness of the relationship between you and your friends and family members. And of course, when we write, we have to be sincere. Sincerity is important. Write from your heart. You mean what you say. And of course, follow the word limit. You don't have to go overboard writing until 100 words because short is the best. Okay, now let us look at the next slide. Uh, this is a sample of the exam task. Okay. Okay. Can you see the task that I asked you to do? Uh, I give you a sample. You can read it. Alright. It's simple, right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You have read. So, what do you think? Is it okay? Alright. So, what I'm trying to say is that Writing an email is simple, okay? Not only writing an email is simple, write notes, messages in postcards, right? They are simple, so please do not leave it blank. Try your best. And it is not so long. The number of words, about 50, uh, 80 words. You can write about 50, 60 words. You still can get good marks. So, we should not give up before trying our best, right? First, when you write, you must remember, a good style must be clear. Okay, my dear students, sometimes you have a very good style of writing. But what is the good style if your writing is not clear? That means, what is the meaning of clear? People can understand what you are trying to say. That is clear, right? And no ambiguity. Second, Write bravely. Okay, you must be brave to write. Okay, don't care about others if they say that you cannot write. If you make a lot of mistakes, grammar mistakes, vocabulary mistakes, spelling mistakes, never mind, continue to write. Write, write, write until you got it right. Right. And the third one, you have to edit. What is the meaning of editing? You correct your errors. Okay, if you don't know how to spell certain word, then you can refer to your dictionary. You can erase it and then you write it. You write many times. You will remember. That's why you cannot just leave it like that after you have written. You have to read again what you have written. Find any errors. Correct the errors frequently. If you can not see any error, I'll, uh, bravo. You are a good writer. But if you read, then you will find some errors. So correct it. And the fourth one, you can make anything by writing. So when you are, uh, when you can write, you express yourself and your thoughts, you can write almost anything. Anything at all. So my dear students, good luck with your writing. I hope you can use all the information and knowledge that I share with you in your writing and you can become a successful writer. Thank you. See you again. And again, I would like to say, stay safe in your, in your home for the time being. But I hope we can see each other again face to face next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good day.